Hi guys, Brian the Scare Lion back with another video and well, I've been on this platform for a full year, uh, well happy about it. So I thought what I'd do for today is I put it on Facebook asking people for Q&A questions. Uh, this is from friends, family and other small YouTubers from a few groups that I've followed. I also did say that my channel isn't PC so they could ask whatever they want and I said the weirder the better. So some of these questions are a little strange and I fucking love it. So, you know what, let's just get into them. The first question that I got was from my mother. <laughs> what are your plans for the year ahead? Well, basically my plans for the year ahead are to continue with this, continue trying to grow on this platform, uh, just keep making videos that I love making. Even when the growing gets a bit slow and that, it's still fun. Like, I love doing these videos. Even when I see like a video's done bad or you know like in terms of views or whatever it doesn't really bother me that much because I just love making them. Next one we have is from Sophie. Why isn't Sophie in more of your videos? Shut the fuck up Sophie. <laughs> nah I'm kidding. Um, Sophie's got to be in more. It's just it's kind of hard considering to go and see her it involves travelling. I'm not too good with travelling but Sophie is going to be in more videos. She she loves doing them, I love doing them well, so it is definitely going to be happening. So next we've got another question here from Sophie, and it says, Who's been your favourite YouTuber this year, and who's been someone you've lost interest in, and why? Um, my favourite YouTuber this year, probably Amy G, like, I, I've watched her so much. I just feel like she's very engaging with, the, with her audience, so I feel like that's probably why I love watching. And someone that I've kind of lost interest in, sounds bad, but I used to be a massive fan of Alonzo Lerone, but I don't really feel like I've watched them this year. Maybe it's because the types of videos I like watching are starting to change. Next we have a question from Smash Smash. If you had to pick between shaving every part of your body, including your head, leg, back, chest and downstairs for a year, or letting it all grow for a year, what would you choose and why? Whatever you answer as I dare to do it for at least six months and vlog it every day on the progression to prove you're going along with it. So big man, are you a lion or a mouse? The choice is yours. I'd probably shave everything. I'd rather look stupid than feel irritated every day. This gets annoying. I'm going to be shaving this soon at some point because it does get very annoying. But as for doing it for six months and vlogging it, I mean, doing it for six months, no problem with it, but vlogging it, 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 that's where it becomes an issue because I already have next to no free time as it is. Unfortunately, this would take up literally those little bits of free time that I get and Nah, uh, I use those bits of free time to like go and see Sophie or to catch up on my TV shows. So nah, I'm not taking that bit of time away from myself. Are you a lion or a mouse? Uh, how about kiss my ass? How about... Ah, aye. What? I'm a fucking lion. It's in the name. Don't test me fam. Oh, Jesus, I just said don't test me fam. Next one is from... Bong Tunts Squad. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I'm pretty bad when it comes to that. What do you really want for Christmas? A ticket to hang out with Taylor Swift or a box full of weed? Truth is, I don't smoke weed and I do actually like one or two of Taylor Swift's songs. So I think I'm going to have to go with the Taylor Swift one. I'll be honest, for quite a while I was actually obsessed with the song Teardrops on my guitar. Judge me if you like. Here we've got uh, two questions from Louise Griffiths. Uh, the first one is, what is the first thing you learned on YouTube when you first started? The first thing that I learned really was how long it actually takes to make a video. Uh, I always knew the process was a little long, but I didn't realise just how long it can take to make a video. And uh, what is one piece of advice that you'd give to YouTubers who are wanting to start up? Uh, be ready to put in the time. Well, say you see like, I don't know, a 10 minute video, a 15 minute video, those videos take hours and hours to make. Sometimes they can even take days or up to a, a week or two. The animated videos could take even longer. There is so much time that you need to put in here. Next question we have is from Kyle 
Petrica, Petrisa, sorry again, I'm really bad with pronouncing names. Uh, my question is, thoughts on sweet potatoes? They're fucking delicious. Especially in wedgie form. I love them in wedgies. They're fucking beautiful. Uh, next question we have is from John Paglinawan. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. What's one thing you think everyone should experience at least once in their lives? There's a lot of things I think people should experience, but one of the big ones is going to live concerts. I've only ever been to one in my life, and that wasn't that wasn't actually too long ago. I went to see the Night People tour from You and Me at Six. Even got a tattooed on my arm. If you love music, the mm, you can really see the difference between listening to a CD or listening to it online or whatever to actually being there live and hearing it. It's such a fucking amazing experience. Next one we have is from my brother. Would you rather put peanut butter on your dick and get it licked off by a dog <laughs> or have butt play with Louis Walsh? This is my brother's mind, people. <laughs> Fuck it, Louis Walsh seems like a nice gentleman. Uh, I let him caress me for a little while. <laughs> there wasn't even caress in that, it was just a bit of butt play. Do you know what? He's, he's getting the butt play and he's getting to caress me. Fair enough. Next one is from Jacob Cowan. Would you let the hottest girl in the world stick a 10 inch dildo up your arse if she'd sleep with you? Let's get adventurous, let's have a bit of kinky fun in the room. Truth is, uh, I'm pretty much a sexually open person, I'll try anything once. You know what, let's just say yes, just for the hell of it. Let's just say yes, she could stick that right up there and mm, maybe leave it in there for a little while. Next one is from Evan Smith Oveland. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Have you ever tried mixing an avocado with pineapple? Uh, can't say that I ever have. I'm not keen on avocado. It sounds like a very strange mix as well. If not, will you consider it? Um, do you know what? In a future video, I will actually try it. It sounds disgusting. It sounds absolutely rank, but... Fuck it, we try shit on this channel. Next ones, we've got three questions here from my little sister. Do you like Riverdale? And if so, who is your favourite character? Yes, I, I absolutely loved Riverdale. I've not caught up in it in a while and that's because I no longer have Netflix. I've said that in a previous video, but I no longer have Netflix, so... I haven't watched it in a while. My favourite character would either be Jughead or Jughead's dad. Just, I really like the bases on their characters. And her next question is, what's your favourite Netflix show? Like I say, I don't have Netflix anymore, so it kind of makes it an issue for what my favourite show would be on there. We're going with Black Mirror. Black Mirror is fucking incredible. Next question is from Gordon McCall. My question is, how does your family and close friends feel about your YouTube channel? And are they supportive or not interested? I'm a f everybody's been really supportive since the beginning of this. I, I kind of did worry that people would laugh and probably give me shit about it. But not everybody has been really supportive and they pushed me to do better. I am so grateful for everybody that's been around me throughout doing this. Uh, as you probably know, the most support that I've had is from the outcasts, uh, Sophie and my brother. 100% they've they've pushed me to keep going and push me to do better they even helped me with video ideas uh, they helped me by contributing in videos uh, one of the things that I haven't yet mentioned um, just my channel banner and things like that they, they were made by Liam from the Outcasts um, he messaged me and says do you want me to make you a banner and I went uh, sure go for it and I he made an absolutely incredible one and eternally grateful for it. Next one we have is from Stephen. If you had the choice to eat one of your favourite meals every day for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Oh, I love steak. I would eat steak for the rest of my life. The best thing about steak is you can always add a, like a different side to it. Uh, I like it pink in the middle. Somewhere between rare and medium rare if you get me. I, like, I don't like it bleeding, but I don't like it too well cooked. He also has another question, and it's... This is the most important question you will ever be asked. Who's better, Rangers or Celtic? 
Sorry to disappoint, Stephen, but mm, I'm not too big of a football fan. Like, I, I think I've said it before in the past. Like, when I was younger, 100% I, I would have said Rangers. But if I need to pick a team, um, Wickham Wanderers. Fuck it, we'll go with Wickham Wanderers. The next one we have is from... Uh, I'll pronounce your first name. I don't want to offend you because I, I have no idea how to pronounce your middle and last name. I apologise. Aisha's question is... Were you apprehensive before starting your channel? And if yes, what is the best advice you would give to a new YouTuber? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know something that I've kind of kept to myself for a long time on this channel. Uh, I do have massive anxiety. Uh, and that's one of the things that held me back from actually starting it because I wanted to start this channel way back in like 2011, I think it was. like. When I first saw people were able to make videos, that was it for me. I wanted to be a part of that. It, it just looked amazing and I felt like I could do it. But my anxiety and everything held me back. The one thing that I would say to anybody dealing with these issues is push through because the feeling that you get when you push through through that initial anxiety, the the feeling of, but what if people don't like me? The feeling of, but what if I can't make it or anything? You just feel ten times better. There's still a chance I won't make it. There's still a massive chance I won't make it on this platform. But the feeling that I've just went for it, the feeling that I've actually gave myself a chance to do something, to push towards something that I've dreamed about, that feeling will never be taken away from me. Sorry, things things, things kind of got serious for a minute there, but I, it's really, really important to push for what you want. And the final question that we have was asked on Curious Cat, so it was asked anonymously. What do you love and hate about this platform? The biggest thing that I love is the fact that we've got a platform in which we can create all of this and not only that, be able to interact with the people who watch these. I feel like that's such an amazing thing today. What do I hate about this platform? There, there are a lot of problems with like the YouTube algorithm and things like that. Um, I do believe these will be fixed over time. I do actually believe in the future YouTube will be able to remedy all of this. It's one of those things I do hate it at the at the moment, but I do think they will try to fix it. But there we go. Uh, that's all of the questions that I have. Thank you to everybody who sent me a question. Uh, I really appreciate it. And well, yeah, we've been here for a year, and I love it. I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Like I, I don't see any sign of me stopping. Uh, I do want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed. We're we're currently on 92 subscribers and it's brilliant to see. I just love the fact that I'm on 92 within the first year. I want to say thank you to anybody who's ever viewed one of my videos, even even if it's just been like for a minute. Like just the fact that you've took the time to click on the video. I'm grateful. Like I absolutely love it. So thank you so much. Uh, and thank you so much to YouTube. Uh, even where the problems on the site now and then, You've gave me a place where I can do this. You've gave me a place where I can actually do what I love to do. So I'm eternally grateful for that. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you did like this little Q&A that I did. I figured it would be perfect for a one year special. Uh, and if you did like it, butt fuck that like button. Please.